Yeah. She drops the bombshell, and I'm the one who ends up looking unreasonable. Hey, hey, to be fair, it's just an idea at this stage. Then why wasn't she up front about it? From the second her heels hit the tarmac, no, it's been one surprise after another. I don't disagree with you, OK? She turns up unannounced and says, oh, it's just a spontaneous visit. Then we find out that she married a billionaire and, oh, yeah, inherited a fortune. Suddenly, she's Miss Philanthropy, financing your dreams. Yeah. And now, now she says she's going to move to Erinsborough when she could afford to live anywhere in the yeah, world she wants. I'm sorry, I should have given you a heads yes, up. Yes, yes, Carl, hey, you hey, should hey, have. Hey, hey, maybe we should stop waving this around. Look, leaving aside how Izzy's handled this situation, isn't it going to be great to see Holly full time? Absolutely, and I hope I made that very clear to Holly, but Isabel's right, I do not want her as part of the deal. Oh, she's doing it again. I am the bad guy. I am the one stopping you from spending time with your daughter. No, no, no. no. I don't think she... like that. Look, maybe we're jumping the gun here. Let's just see what comes to pass. Oh, yeah, right. Tell darling, darling. I love you. Well, I love you too. <laughs> so I'm never going to repeat the mistakes of the past. Is that what's playing on your mind? I told Toby that it wasn't, but... I don't know, maybe... Maybe on some level... All I know is that whenever Isabel is around, I lose faith in you. Oh. Especially when I see how she manipulates you so easily. I don't think that Izzy has any agendas. But even if she does, nothing's ever, ever going to happen because I love you. Hey, you are the only woman in the world for me. Really?